What's up guys? Chief here with another video where we learn how to play StarCraft 2. Today we're going to talk about uh, Zerg hotkeys or keybinds. And Zerg is one of those races where macro is really really important because if you're not macroing properly, uh, meaning say, say for example your larva injects, if you're missing a lot of larva injects, you're going to miss a lot of larva and you're not going to be able to make a very good army, you're not going to be able to make enough drones, you're going to fall behind uh, very very slowly in the beginning and if you keep missing it and you're getting up to, to three or four bases three or four bases if you continually miss injects it's really going to hurt you a lot more than you might think so if you can find a way to efficiently manage larva injects and larva themselves from your hatcheries you'll notice a really really nice improvement in your zerg gameplay so i'm just going to talk real quick about a way that i have done uh that i do my injects and i do my um my larva management and it's not the best way it's not the only way uh, maybe a different way will work better for you but maybe this will help you give you a little bit of insight as to what you could do if you wanted to so if i um let me just unpause my game here i've started a very easy ai game as we like to do so if we jump in right here let's switch it there we are lovely um, one thing that a lot of you might not know, and I didn't know for the longest time, is by default, if you hit the backspace key, say we're out here fighting some kind of push, and we want to go back to our main base really fast, if by default that key is hot, uh, that hot key is backspace, and you can you can change it to whatever key you like. I personally use spacebar. So if we go ahead and hit that spacebar, it's going to bring us to our base. We hit it again, keep cycling through all of our bases. Now, if I would have known this a long time ago, I would have been a much happier little Zerg player. But either way, we found out, we know now, so that's very important for me in my setup. I use spacebar to cycle through my bases. Another way you might do it is bind your first hatchery to five, maybe go to your second, bind it to six, your third to seven, something like that, and you can double tap each one to cycle through exactly which one you want instead of going through hitting spacebar until you get to the right one. That's another way you can do it. So the way the benefit with um, my technique is if we just select all of our hatcheries. So we have all three. I bind them all to the same hotkey. I use five. So now if we hit five, we're selecting all of our hatcheries and then hit S, we're selecting all of our larva. I find that very helpful to be able to make a large army really fast, to make a lot of drones really fast. You can get five, see how many larvae you even have at each hatchery. Really helpful. We want to make some zerglings. Okay, we can fill up. We know we're using all of our larva, larva efficiently. That's great. So let's talk about larva injects. That's the mo one of the most important things as zerg, like I've mentioned earlier. Make sure your larva injecting efficiently. Roughly every 30 seconds in real time, you need to make sure you're going back home to do a larva inject. It's about every 30 seconds. Keep that in mind. So well, the best way that I have found to do that is I take all of my queens and I lump them together in a control group if I can click on them. So there we go. We've got all our queens on number four. We've got three bases. We've got three queens. We can have more, but we'll just take the three for now. And now if we want a larva inject, the default hotkey is V, right? V. So if we hold shift, Hold V, as you can see the crosshairs come up for the larva inject. Now we can hit click, space, click, space, click. Really easy. And you can do that obviously as fast as you want. You can go uh, click, space, click, space, click, space. As fast as you want to cycle through those bases. And that's the best way I've found to do my larva injects. Really, really, really easy. So if we're out we're out on the map with our little zerglings here. We're moving around, we're attacking something, and we're like, okay, I haven't injected for a while. I should probably uh, should probably inject. So we, we'll select our queens, hit space. Okay, yes, it's time to inject. Shift B, V, click, click, click. Back to our army. Now, if you'll notice, every base is injecting, and it's just really fast. Rather than maybe five, five, then select your queens with four, or click on your queen, five, five, click, V, click. 6-6, six, six, click V, click. A little bit faster for me to do it this way. Maybe it'll help you guys out. I noticed a huge improvement in my gameplay when I just started doing it that way. You just, real fast, 
back to the army, and there we go. Really fast way to inject the larva. Now, if you're uncomfortable with uh, remembering every 30 seconds that you need to do that, one thing you can do is bind just one hatchery like we did before to a hotkey. So in this example, it's six. If we just tap that once, you get this nice little progress bar. So you know exactly how far it is along. So, okay, our larva injects coming up. I'm gonna go to my queen, shift V, click, 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 back to my army. Okay, we're microing, we're fighting a battle. Oh crap, gotta peel those off. Okay, where's my larva inject? Six. Wow, really, I got a long time yet. Okay, let's go, maybe we'll micro some of these, do some jazz, something jazzy with those. Oh, we're gonna die, how's our larva inject? About half done, okay, back over here. And it's very fast to be able to just move, move and do something else while watching your timings. Oh, okay, let's get ready. Shift V, you know, click, click, click. Really fast, back to the army, away we go. Do a little bit of micro. Oh, okay. We can check all our timings really fast, really easy. So that's all I really wanted to show you guys in this video. It was just a real fast, um, I guess, technique, technique to doing larva injects that might help you. Now, as I mentioned, there are other ways to do your larva injects. There are many ways you can do some fanciness with um, camera binding locations. We'll talk about that more and I'm gonna make a generalized video about hotkeys, not so much focused on each race. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll provide a link to that video when it's made and you guys can check that out if you wanna learn more about binding camera locations, uh, if you don't already know that. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Once I figured out that this, this technique was so fast, I started using it and it worked really well for me. Now again, if you're stuck in, in your old ways where you've kind of already um, established a way to do your larva, it's probably gonna be really hard to break out of that habit and try learning a new way. So keep that in mind, it might get a little worse before it gets better. So just don't expect to be crazy macro master grandmaster zerg right away but it will help if you guys try it out i pretty much can guarantee that you'll see some improvement some improvement that base camera again default backspace if you want to know how to change that let's go back into the game i'll show you real fast we just go to the menu we go to our options hotkeys global and then i believe it's camera and let's find it here. Let's find it here. Base camera, there it is. That's what you wanna rebind to move through your different bases, your different hatcheries, space bar. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any other requests for videos, comments, uh, anything like that, let me know in, uh, in the comments or private message and then I will take a look at them. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.